C'est bon, on les a. Vous êtes en direct. Ok. 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 Great. So you can hear us, right? Is that working? Hello. Okay, let's say it's working. Okay. So just live. Hi. How are you guys? Maybe you can say hello if you can hear us on the chat on the. Oh yeah, maybe someone can type something and just just confirm that everything is uh, is working, right? Oh, cool. Perfect. So it's working. Um, so we have, um, maybe we can introduce ourselves. Welcome sure. to all of you. Uh, it's really nice. What we want to do today with you, it's just to make a demo of uh, the Niva, uh, that you're already back or you will maybe back in the future. In sure, the future. I mean, you should. So I'll let you introduce you. So I'm Matthew, I'm the co-founder. Um, we are on, um, on a high. <laughs> We, we, we work on the on Dagomat project since a while now, and uh, we are super happy to learn this Neva today with you. And uh, I'm Anouk, I work also for Dagoma. Um, we launched with Matthew and David uh, Dagoma in, uh, in the US. We are very excited about it. Um, and Absolutely. so here is uh, Neva. We introduce you um, our new printer that we are very proud. Um, and uh, so we'll start the demo, if, if that's okay for you. What we will do is do the demo, keep asking your questions, and uh, when... Uh, I mean, when you have something to say, just say it and we'll try to read it. I mean, it's a little bit far, but we can move a little bit. And uh, yeah, feel free. I mean, the idea is to be... It's, I mean, we, we want to make it interactive. Great. So let's start. Yeah, sure. Maybe you can start. Oh, maybe you can start with present... Um, ah, yeah. So the software. The software and everything. So as we told in the kickstart, uh, we have a free software. Actually, it's a version of Cura, and we made it a Cura by Dagoma, uh, dedicated to the Niva. So what I will do is we will show you the screen. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, here is the software. So it's working on PC, on Mac, on Linux as well. And basically, it's uh, uh, you, you, as you can see, you see the Niva over there. and the huge built volume. So in order to make something quite fast, so 30 minute prints, we put um, a very tiny turtle uh, back right there, which is a very nice design, by the way. And okay, just to make it quick and consistent, you can choose your filaments, different PLA and stuff. You can move your temperature if it's needed. You can find and choose the density, the, la the layer quality. So here we choose just standard quality, which is uh, 150 micron. Or oh, what size is a print? Yeah, a uh, very good point. So, okay, let's click on it. And it will be uh, basically three, 30 millimeters, so three centimeters. Okay? But so three per three. Bigger. The print area is around 18. Um, a centimeters di diameter and it's uh, 28 it's basically you can it's more than this yeah you you can basically easily print this kind of huge stuff as you can see it's i mean it's crazy huge basically it's uh yeah it's roughly 20 and um so as you can read when someone put this comment it's seven inches wide i mean the circle over there and uh eight inches high Okay, so then the next step is take your SD card and just put it inside a new computer. And I will click on prepare the print. Okay, here we are, uh, saving volume and... Maybe explain this. What? The, what do you mean? Uh, you have a... Okay, just right there, but I mean, it's Cura. You have all the information, so 30 minute prints, one meter filament will be used. It means that it's roughly three, three gram. Okay. The, okay. We will use the SD card right now. So, and I will answer your questions. There is definitely USB over here, as you can see it, and there is no Wi-Fi here. Okay. Hello, Quentin Furtis. <laughs> okay. So I just push the SD card on it. And maybe you can launch it. Oh, launch it is really difficult. Like you have to do this. Yeah. And normally after that, 
You have nothing to do. It's not a normally actually. You have nothing to do at all. So we will just wait for the printer to start and maybe read some of your comments and Matthew will tell you about uh, technical uh, about the, the printer. Of, yeah, maybe some technical aspect of the printer. So as I mentioned already, uh, there is a USB just right here. Uh, as then I show you, um, SD card is available. Uh, we believe that used with SD card is, is much, I mean, it's faster, it's easier anyway. There is no Wi-Fi on that version. I mean, not yet, maybe one day, but right now there is no Wi-Fi. Oh. Um, uh, yeah, let's talk a little bit about the size. We already said, but as you, can we use Astro Print? We are in the discussion with those guys right now. Uh, it's look like, yes, we, we definitely can use Astro Print. It's a started G card, absolutely, and we are using Marlin firmware. We, we had a huge modification inside, but yeah, we are using Marlin. So as you can see right now, the Niva is live, and there is a, an, an auto calibration system who is working amazing. I remember that in the Niva, there is an MKS based and a French tester of the Niva using a to print. Okay, so it's just a comment. So there is an auto bed leveling, uh, is working amazing. And this is a key, one of the key features of the Niva. And so during like 30 seconds or one minute, the printer will auto calibrate itself each time and then the print will launch. What about the, the, the precision? The precision is, um, okay, basically it's a Delta model, so it will depend where you are printing. But mechanic, on a mechanical point of view, sorry, we show USB in the back here, yeah, just right there. The USB is right there. So on a mechanical point of view, in the first diameter, like it's between nine centimeter, okay, the, the precision in, X and in and in Y, it's uh, 50 microns, and if you go if you print larger, it will be 100 microns. Okay, and on Z, the mechanical precision is 12.5 micron everywhere. So this is a very detailed precision. Um, the printer has just stopped. Okay, it was auto calibrating, and now the head uh, is going higher in uh, temperature and uh, and it will start very soon there is a, a comment is the default uh, nozzle capable of handling special filaments like yeah. metal powder definitely so yeah let's talk about a little bit about the, the head the head is an e3d official version uh version six so it's a full metal head nozzle uh, and definitely you can use wood PLA, metal PLA, brad, uh, uh, yeah, uh, brass PLA, sorry, uh, even lay PLA, I mean, whatever, flexible, flexible PLA. PLA. I mean, it's, it's well working. So here the printer will start. So as you can see, it start moving. And, and here we are, or maybe I, I should move it a little bit. And, and you, you should show these guys, you should see that. The first layer quality is crazy amazing. I don't know if you see it well. Maybe we can. Uh, it's orange. Maybe on orange. It's. Uh, you you will see it on the on the black part. No worries. It will come very soon. So the print quality and the first layer without any calibration at all. Okay, this is something you need, you should keep in mind. Maybe I try to read the comment at the same time. I would like to make float valve for automatic chicken watering. What is this? Hey, hello Brazil. Oh my God, I don't understand. What about the expected live expectation using this material? So, well, okay. So when you are using like um, normal PLA, the nozzle is super strong. Uh, basically, when you are using um, like carbon fiber PLA or brass uh, PLA, of course you will you will scratch a little bit the nozzle, so you you have you will have to change it. I have no clue, but the, the, I mean I, I don't. 
I, I don't know about the time life, to be really honest. I think it's better to check on, a, on an E3D website and check with them, but yeah. Yeah, it's a 0.4 uh, diameter uh, hole for the, I mean, the extrusion, it's 0.4 millimeter on a, on a nozzle. So yes. Um. So, um, Maybe we, oh no, maybe we, you, you wait a little bit. Yeah, we we'll wait a little bit. I mean, the print what? need to start. Yeah, what oh, we want to do after, it's just to show you how to remove the filament quickly and uh, use the tap tap um, function. As you can see, the printer is pretty fast. Uh, everything is managed automatically by uh, our Cura by Dagoma version for this Niva. Uh, the print will, um, I mean, the speed prints will change according to the high level, I mean, the, the high of the layer and, I mean, many different options. But basically, you can go up to 80 millimeter per second and even a little bit uh, faster, as I remember. I see there is another comment. Oh, there is a comment. Uh, I don't really understand. I don't really understand. Your, your point is what is, is to, to, to know if it will be, I mean, if, if the water will, will pass away or not. Uh, yeah, you, you definitely can. I mean, I already did some, it's working, not for water, but, but for, and, and bigger stuff. But yeah, with, um, as, as long as you put an infill quite strong, it will definitely work, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you, you can find some strong PLA, which uh, with those one you can uh, also put it in a oven after, and, and you heat it, and it, they become even stronger. So you have specific PLA as well, so you can use and definitely it will work, yeah. One question we often have is about the heated bed. We choose not to have a heated bed. It's really important for us uh, to be as eco-friendly as we can. And in that sense, uh, we use only PLA at Dagoma. You can use other filaments. There is no problem about it. But we want um, to... We won't push you to use... Um, to use um, I mean, Eco-friendly, non... Yeah. non we want to push you as much as we can to use eco-friendly filament. And uh, I mean, we are not fan and about the smell and the toxicity of other filaments. So, so that's why. But there is a question from Nicolas: uh, How thick are the layers? So it's 150 microns right there. I mean, we choose it on a Cura by Dagoma Niva version. And we choose uh, the standard quality, which is uh, 150 microns. Maybe we can uh, hold the print yeah. and uh, change the color just to see how easy it is and uh, how smart the printer is. So the first thing is that you can uh, pose your printer to insert to to insert something to change the filament to change the color. So all you have to do is just press the button once. Okay, so then it's paused. If you want to remove the filament, what I will do now, maybe you can oh, maybe, put the computer here to yeah, show it. Yeah, okay. Maybe, so, maybe we can, um, so, so the hold, the, the pause system, so you can hold and unhold, I mean, infinitely. So if I press the button again, okay, and here we are and the print goes on. So it's super easy. So maybe we'll change the filament now, right? Yeah. So I hold it again. Okay. And I will double tap on it. And okay. You can see the filament is going, is removably, I mean, it's going outside of the printer automatically, and then it's easy to change. So here is another filament. So we'll put red. Oh, I don't, I will let you do it, please. Okay. I will do it. Sorry, I will see if there is other comments. Meanwhile, 
is it possible using another slicer like yes of course you can use cura no problem we did actually our target with this printer is to um really make it accessible to all so we did um how to say we try to simplify it a lot but if you want to use another slicer of course it's possible so matthew did you put yeah the everything's filament? fine i mean the filament is right here so you okay can, you so can i can push back the button and it will start again okay uh one of the things we did um a few days ago and i really love i will show you so here we did this one so with several colors and as you can see the bridge are quite well okay so it's really allowing you to do um very tiny things or well, maybe maybe i can show you right now because the changing color stuff is working well so now your print is not anymore in orange but it become red basically because we put red filament can you see it i'm not sure it's anyway you will see it in a few can minutes. you program it to tell when you change the color okay it's not yes technically it's 100 percent possible it's not um you yeah you just have to modify a little bit your g card but definitely you can choose yeah and Cura by Dagoma is definitely free. You can already download it. It's already available. So yeah. We will push you the, all the links at the end. Yeah, of, at, uh, by the end we will push you all the links with yeah with everything. But this is a good time to oh yeah. If you want to see like nice picture and everything, you can follow us on Instagram and the name is just right there, which is Dagoma US. And on Twitter as well with Dagoma US, and then on Facebook as well with Dagoma USA. Uh, um, we will put a lot of pictures of uh, the Niva and of the printer of the Niva in the coming few days, so do not hesitate to follow if you want to continue. Uh, and maybe I can tell you about also another group. Uh, there is a group of fans in France because we are a French company, as you can hear um, with our accent. Uh, and uh, there is a group of fans who created a group named Dagomaniac, and they just created it for also for international, for, so it means in English, and the name is Dagomaniac US, but I will give you the link at the end of, um, of this live. To answer your question, Ivo, uh, okay, to be really honest, we, are, we didn't choose yet. Uh, it may not be uh, USPS, but it may be either FedEx or either UPS, which we didn't decide yet. Maybe read the question. So okay, yes, yeah, inside Coupula France. Okay, there is a link already. Okay, do you have any question? Do you want to talk about anything? I mean, well, definitely. We can show you some things we did. Yeah, we did some funny stuff with 3D. Around. So, here to show you the quality. We did this, for example. Okay, we printed this. Oh, as you can see, you can print flexible stuff. So here is an iPhone case. I forget my iPhone, by the way, but anyway. So here is an iPhone case, and it's flexible, as you can see, with a Dagoma inside. For those who already have a printer, I guess you are used to that. So here you can see a lion. And the specificity is that you can see you can have the the hair brushed with the what one? So so here is basically the bigger one. We are printing this total, but just um, it's just a bigger one. So here we are with the total. And uh, what do you want to see? I mean, it's kind of open. It's for your swap. <laughs> so funny stuff. Yep. And maybe we can show you because I think now you can see well the red. Oh yeah, cool. Awesome. So as you can see, we have the orange at the beginning and now we have the red. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, there, there is any questions or what do you want to talk? Yeah, so the, the high it's 20, but we already discussed about it. Um, the speed I just mentioned uh flex pla of course yeah uh it's flexible pla 
one thing and concern is about the maintenance. Yeah, so the maintenance. Uh, actually, there is not a lot of maintenance to do. Um, basically, you have to make sure that the filament is not a bad quality one, because there are some filaments very, I mean, who are not working well. So we recommend some filament as a chromatic brand. And I mean, we will recommend some filament. And, uh, the, and those filaments, the filaments we recommend, like chromatic, for example, are already in a Cura by Dagoma for Niva. Yeah, so you, you, you didn't need to configure anything. I mean, the, the, the Cura by Dagoma Niva version is 100% ready for the filament and the printer. So if, if you choose our brands or, or the brands we, we recommend, you'll just have to say, okay, I want to print in chromatic or I want to print in optofiber. Then the temperature will automatically adapt. Everything is, is ready, not only the temperature, by the way, the speed and everything. And um, so, so what about the maintenance? Just make sure your nozzle is not blocked. And um, verify it also before um, your print, because as we said earlier, there is an auto calibration. So if there is a little bit of filament that is um, that you can see, um, it can affect the calibration. So be sure that the nozzle is perfectly clear when you start a print. That's really important. Absolutely. And there is also another point. We are using a build grip system over there. So it's uh, the tape just right here. Of course, you can replace it. You can change it. But basically, this tape, and as you can see, it's already scratched a little bit, but it's fine. It's working like for 100 prints at least. So, but, but, but you need to maintain it properly. And to do so, you have to clean it with some alcohol. Um, 90 and degrees alcohol, you just put a little bit and that's all. Yeah, and, and you clean it like this, but it's working super well. As you, you can see, maybe we can see ours. It's already an old one because as you can see, we printed a lot. Yeah. So there are some marks, but it's still working very well. And for yeah, the, the demo, it's perfect. Yeah, the point is uh, you just need to clean it and please do not put your finger on it and stuff because, I mean, it's not 100% clean and sometimes, you know, it's a little bit sweet. So, I mean, we need to remove water and this kind of grease and stuff. So we need just to clean it and it's working well. And that's it. Do we have a manual to explain how to do maintenance? Yeah, yeah definitely. Sure. There's some I YouTube, mean, video. YouTube videos and uh, online tutorials and this kind of stuff. I will share you the YouTube of Dagoma also uh, later. On. About the spare parts. Yes, good point. Very good point. So the, the very good answer to this question is not really about spare parts. It's we are a local manufacturer. So everything we want to do, everything we want to create, we do it locally as much as we can. So we start in France with a huge facility now, and we open a second one in the south of France, and now we start to, um, I mean, to, op to open in the US, so we choose California, and we, I mean, we try to be local as much as we can, so more printer will sell, more local will be definitely. So definitely if something wrong with the printer and everything, you can just chat with us and we will work on it together. So it's no big deal. Yeah. We are manufacturing all the printer we are selling in our facilities. There is no self factory in China or where, wherever else. It's made by Dagoma. So the spare parts are managed by Dagoma. And, and the other very important point is on that printer, 50% printer is 3D printed. So those three parts over there are 3D printed the, the nozzle, I mean the head is 3D printed, the top is 3D printed. And the base is but, 3D printed. But the most interesting stuff is the base. And, and the, the extruder. And oh yeah, of course the extrusion parts basically. So the extruder is just right there. It's the orange block over there. And on the base, as you can see, it, there is some um, texture and it's one unibody masterpiece 3D printed. So. It's great because it allows us to perfectly know about 3D printing and 3D printers. So that's why also we want to have this kind of, of business model. Oh, I, I will show you by the end of um, by the end of the, um, the print of the print. But if you need to change the nozzle and the head, there is two different options. But if it's um, I mean, we can change the whole gray part. 
plus the tube, and you just do, need to unlock the tube. So it's super easy to change the, the whole head at once. So it was for a question up there. If there is any other question? Chipping, chipping of spare parts. Oh, uh, uh, we can chip. Oh, we yeah. can chip spare parts also. Yeah, there is no problem. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's it's easy. I mean, we are doing it a lot in France if it's needed for some customer. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a delivery, normal delivery. Um. So as we told you, we have uh, two fact. Well, we have uh, two factories for the moment. Mm. Both are in France. We will open another one here uh, in uh, in California, and the target after that if it's working well, is to open more in the US to be very local, but also to go to other countries like South America, for example. I, su I see that there is a Brazilian with us, so the target maybe will be to open also a factory. We want to be local because actually something we didn't tell you is why we created Dagoma, and maybe you can explain why. Yeah, the point is um, we strongly believe that 3D printing will change the way we are buying stuff, and, uh, and, 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 and we, I mean, we are a little bit bored about the, um, the, the way we are consuming many different plastic and whatever material pieces. So we created Dagoma with this idea in mind. We want to change the way we are buying stuff. We, we don't want to buy anymore. We want to give the options to everyone to be able to produce locally their own stuff. And we believe that if we do so. do so, if we push the technology and we change it, we change the way we are using this technology, we make it easier, accessible, affordable, affordable uh, it, it will help everyone to, to be able to do so. So here is our main concern and main target. I see that there There's is questions question. also. Did the Neva need to be closed for the temperature? But as you can see, it's definitely not closed. I can pass by. <laughs> so, so no. It, it uh, doesn't need, but we will probably uh, design a protection box. The target will be mainly to, um, for example, if you have small kids, to avoid them to put their yeah, hand in the nozzle. There is no risk because it's really well protected, but we never know. And the second thing is to avoid dust because um, if you, for example, work in an indus industrial um, area? area, it can be important to protect it from this. Yeah, and it's also an education uh, perspective. I mean, uh, if we have a nice box to be, I mean, to 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 allow very young child to to touch the stuff, it makes sense, I think. But and if you want after that, also, if you like. If you are a maker or anything, you go on fair on shows, you can also protect the Niva so everyone can touch it if it's important for you. Yeah, makes sense. Um, any other questions? There is other questions. Uh, do you want to talk about anything else? Although I can tell you about my life. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> the print is almost done. Yeah, just five minutes left or something. So maybe I will put it closer. If you're ready to, here we are. Okay. So maybe we can talk about the prices. Oh yeah, let's talk a little bit about the prices. So, so the Neva is a it, it will be available by the end of this Kickstarter in France for 299 no for 499 euros so 499 euro with tax and in the US it will be 399 without tax okay and you can buy it from everywhere in the world yeah you can definitely buy it for from everywhere in the world of course there is no problem about it and it, yeah, the price in the Kickstarter. So, uh, where are we now? So, we had early bets that are already uh, finished, but we still have one. Well, we still have several. Uh, we have one at uh, $349, so it, make, it makes a 20% sa um, saving uh, from the US price. 
um, you will, we also have a 3991 uh, or 499 with, for, for customs. customs. So, 499 for customs. So, so what does it mean? It means that we ask a local artist to um, to paint, to design your universe so you have it at your colors. Uh, you can see in the Kickstart uh, several examples of the Niva who has been um, uh, painted by Isar, which is an artist we collaborate with in, uh, in France. And there is also a level for people like who, who have several or yeah. who are retailer and want them then to to be able to, to have several to start selling as soon as we as it, as they can as it's possible. I mean, so we so, do have like a pack of six. So six printer. It's a kind of a wall of Niva, and you can print and you can produce piece like series. And we have pretty much. I mean, this this pack is a uh, one thousand. I think it's the end. Maybe we can... Oh, yeah, we should show it then. Oh. oh, my God, just on time. So it's just finished, so the head is going up. Yeah, so the head is right here. It's so going up. You, I don't know if you can hear, there is a fan, and the fan is uh, cooling down the, the nozzle, okay? Oops. So it would be perfect for your next print. As you can see, the nozzle is perfectly... Maybe you can... Oh, yeah, I can show, like, right it's here. It's perfectly clean. So you will have nothing to do for your next print. Eventually, if you want to, you can remove your filament. Yeah, of course. So it can be more easy if you change your color for a next print. So maybe. Okay. So maybe I can do it. Okay. Why did the mirror? No, it will. It will. It will appear. It will appear. Just give it two minutes. The temperature is going a little bit up to make sure the filament can be removed easily. And I can. Remove maybe the piece uh, yeah. as well. Yeah, maybe go ahead. There is no problem of. Um... Yeah, it's well attached. Huh? Yeah. Well, this one is perfectly well attached. Okay. I will let you do no, because but... you took the place. Yeah, I'm in the right position so I can do it easily. Okay. okay. So here it is. I don't know if you can see the details, I'm not sure. Maybe like this is better. So as you can see, there are very small details, and it printed really well. And here is the first layer. OK, so, and here is the first layer. That which is did. pretty important, because as you can see, the first layer is, I mean, perfect. So just give you an overall idea about the quality and the stuff. So here is just the first layer. And here is some detailed textured of the Niva. Oh, here. Can you hear? Oh, the yeah. Filament is... The filament is going. Oh. Perfect. Here we are. And the printer will be ready for the next time. And it's ready, I mean, waiting for you. If you want, maybe we didn't tell you, if you want to stop a print um, when it's running, I don't know for which reason, but anyway, you just have to press the button and then remove the SD card and that's all. Yeah, and Niva will understand that you don't want to finish the print anymore and uh, she will prepare itself for the next, um, for the next one. Okay, I think we are good. We answered all the questions. So, cool. is that okay for you? Um, we anyway we will do a live like in one or two weeks. So it's up to you. If you have questions, feel free to contact us. There is a several way: Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I will send an update to you tonight. Uh, to uh, put all the details link and thank you again and you will be able to have a replay if you want to see it again or tell your friend to to watch it there is no problem thank you very very much to you for being here it was great it was our first live experience yeah, yeah it's pretty cool yeah i appreciate it the only thing i miss is not seeing your yeah we are missing you guys so the, we're gonna your photos funny. and stuff but Anyway, you are Maybe writing down some stuff. So thank you and uh, see you soon. See you very soon. Bye. Bye. How does it work? I don't even know how to leave. Okay, I, I found it. Bye. Bye.